You know, Marquette's such a great team. Uh, I think it has a lot of significance. A, it puts us back in the hunt for the Big East title, and that's a huge goal for us this year. Um, huge RPI game. You know, they are 15 RPI, so that helps us, you know, in our quest to make the NCAA tournament and get a good seed, things along those lines. So, and, and we didn't play all that well last weekend. I mean, we did some good things, but I thought we played a good match today. So hopefully confidence-wise, that'll, uh, you know, move us forward as we continue to get through the Big East. Also, as a sweep, what was what was going right for your team today that you were able to get that sweep? I think uh, several things. I thought we passed extremely well. And Michelle, our setter, had lots of different options. Um, secondly, you know, we've had different nights. We've got a lot of good hitters, but one hitter's hot, one hitter's cold. That happened Friday night. Tonight, I felt like Michelle could go to any offensive player, and that just you know that parity leads to single blocks and, and leads to kills. You've talked a lot about you've talked a lot about finishing. In the past, and in the first two first two sets, you went on 95 and 71 runs to, to finish the sets. Talk about your team is going to the win. Yeah, you know, I thought I thought particularly in those sets and, and in the third game, Marquette was siding out at will for the end. They had their best rotations up, and we sided out, and that was huge. You know, we've got it. We worked a lot in practice on the first ball kill, so that means a perfect pass off that first serve and putting that ball down. You don't want the you don't want rallies to go on. So I was really pleased to see that. And again, it goes back to passing. That pass is I know you don't want to make it season, but you guys sent through a little road leader towards the end of that stretch. And, you know, being back at home now, especially these last six sets, you, you know, like um, we had the weekend off before that weekend that we lost. So, no, you can't play the. I, I think um, maybe the fact that we hadn't played a game, you know, I, you know, I, I look at my scheduling and say maybe I should have scheduled a game during that time frame. I don't, I don't think we were tired. There's definitely excitement being back at home. I mean, how, how can you not love playing in front of 2,000 people and, you know, this sort of atmosphere? So that that provides an energy to the players, but, um, you know, we lost last week, you know, and, and the good thing is that's part of sports. You learn from it, and, and how teams respond to determine who are champions, and I think, you know, these are champions. They, they've responded, and hopefully we can continue. And I ask Michelle as well, the other schools in the Big East are going to put the papers see on the internet or whatever, which is what Marquette, that's going to make you an even bigger target. Yeah, we feel like, uh, you know, we feel like we have a target on our back, you know, uh, but that's, that's what you want to have happen. So, uh, you know, every team in the Big East is very, very good. If you look at scores, everyone's going fine. I, I, I was talking to the Marquette coach prior. I mean, uh, he's played a lot of those teams. Everybody's good. They can knock you off on a given night. We have to be ready to go each time we walk out the court. What did you think of that Friday today? I mean, it was pretty packed out. Yeah, it was awesome. We didn't know, you know, it's our first Sunday game. So, you know, we were taking predictions. <laughs> I just wanted on the record that Angie predicted below a thousand. I, I had the highest number of crowd, but it still exceeded our expectation. You know, we, it's fall break, so we didn't have students around, um, and the crowd made up for that. You know, I, I, I think we should be selling this place out, and, and I, you know, it's, it's matches like this that are going to make that continue to happen. Every time you needed a big kill, and whether it was a run they were on, or whether it was the match getting tight, I think that Leo was the one who stepped up and got it for you. Can you just talk about her performance, and especially in those moments? You know, Leah's a gamer. She's consistently done that. And I, I love that she came out and played a fantastic match today because I think she struggled some on Friday night. So that's huge. But I also felt like, you know, that was the great thing that Michelle had is that if, if they start, they started at the end of the match releasing to Leah, well, she could go someplace else and those people could get the kills. And then um, Bailey was a big focus, obviously. Yeah. She came in and averaging four kills a set, ended up with just six on 24 swings. Can you talk about what the strategy was against her and how you thought your team executed it? Well, I mean, she was, you know, we don't usually talk about just containing one kid. Well, we did. I mean, that was, we did for this match. And so that was a huge uh, key to our scouting report. We, you know, we tried to put big hands in front of her consistently. And I thought our blockers did a great job and then our defense behind.